Hello and welcome to a short video about Marlis Ireland, which is the representative body for the electronics industry in Ireland. My name is Leonard Hobbs and I'm the general manager. Electronics is a relatively new technology, but it has had and continues to have an enormous effect on the way we live, work and entertain ourselves. Advances in electronics and the technologies it enables continues to shape our lives no more so than today as the so-called digital revolution is impacting almost every sector from communications to cars, medical devices to manufacturing and financial services to sports. Although electricity had been studied for many years, it wasn't until the discovery of electromagnetic induction by Michael Faraday in 1831 that it could be generated in a controlled fashion. Even then, there was much scepticism as to its usefulness. Indeed, when Michael Glad William Gladstone, the then British Chancellor of the Exchequer and future Prime Minister, asked Faraday as to what it could be used for, Faraday famously replied, Sir, one day you can tax it. The electronics discipline soon followed, with many inventions like the telegraph in the 1830s, which enabled long-range communications over copper wiring. Samuel Morse, who was a painter turned inventor, was so enthused by his invention of Morse code, which greatly simplified the transmission of messages by encoding them as dashes and dots, which was an early form of digital communication, that he declared that he could see no reason why intelligence may, may not be transmitted instantaneously by electricity. Close to the home, the story of the first transatlantic cable, which resulted in the first ever message to be transmitted across an ocean, is an inspiring one. In 1858, the first ever message being sent from Valencia Island in County Kerry to Heart's Content in Newfoundland, in which Queen Victoria sent a note of congratulations to President Buchanan of the United States. The 98 word message took 16 hours to transmit, and the President's response of 143 words was sent in just 10 hours. Improvements in the cable technology and, the elect and electronics, uh, which was performed at Valencia, meant that the next successful cable was laid in 1866, and messages could be sent then in minutes. The then remote Valencia Island County Kerry in Ireland played a major role in connecting the old and new worlds for the first time, placing Ireland at the crosshairs of the emerging global communications industry. Indeed, one could say that globalisation began at the edge of the then modern world with a successful connection of the cable between London via Valencia, Ireland and New York via Newfoundland and Canada. With the beginning of the 20th century, another early, in another early connection, Giovanni Marconi, the son of an Italian nobleman and his Irish mother, Annie Jameson of the Irish Whiskey family, was developing his wireless communication technology. But he needed an amplifier, and the first vacuum tubes, an invention by Englishman John Ambrose Fleming, were developed at Marconi's International Station in, at Clifton in County Galway. However, vacuum tubes were expensive to make and could not be miniaturised. The next major breakthrough came in the form of solid-state device, with Barn Dean and Bratton, working under Shockley at Bell Labs, invented the point contract transistor in 1947. They used germanium as a semiconductor material. They would go on to be awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1956. Electronic took a huge leap forward with the invention of the integrated circuit in 1858, which was jointly credited to Jack Kirby of Texas Instruments and Robert Noyes of Intel, in which they built a number of transistors on the same piece of silicon or chip. A key new te technique invented was, it was the ability to print patterns on the silicon, which could be transferred into the underlying semiconductor and insulating materials, and subsequent layers could then be built up to create complex circuitry. The patterning technique, called photolithography, could be scaled, scaled down so that many more components could be added as the material technologies evolved. Thus, following what is known as Moore's Law, after Gordon Moore, one of the founders of Intel, the number of transistors would double every two years, such that the first microprocessor from Intel in 1971, with its 2300 transistors, would be lost in today's microprocessor at powering Apple's iPhones, which has over 8 billion transistors. Since the time of Morse and Marconi, electronics has continued to be an enabler for new breakthrough technologies. In its 2016 publication on megatrends, the OECD predicted that digital technologies would continue to have a major impact on economies and societies as all companies become digitized, very much driven by the decreasing cost of compute as the electronic sector continues to follow the miniaturization predicted by Moore's law. 
One of these megatrends is the arrival of what was called the Fourth Industrial Revolution. The first one being enabled by steam power, the second by electricity, um, and, the, and with electronics driving the third with computing and automation. The fourth revolution will again be enabled by electronics with the development of technologies such as Internet of Things, which connects machines to the internet, and artificial intelligence, which will enable machines to make decisions. In regards to artificial intelligence, a recent prediction from the World Economic Forum predicts a huge increase in the, emerging, the number of emerging roles for artificial intelligence, very much in excess of the number of roles which will decline as the level of intelligence and machine decision making increases. The good news is that these advances in electronic systems are driving a very healthy future for the electronics industry with a healthy compound, compound growth rate of between 5 and 7 percent predicted over, over the decades ahead. And since the arrival of analog devices to Limerick over 40 years ago, Ireland has done very well in attracting leading technology companies to the different phases from mainframe computing to the PC era to the current era of born on the internet companies. In addition, there have been many local success stories, such as Movidius, which sold to Intel for over 300 million euro in 2017, and most recently Decawave, which sold to Apple supplier QOrvo for over 360 million in January of this year. And Irish engineering graduates continue to excel in these leading edge companies, with many reaching the levels such as Vice President and General Manager. This has included UCC graduates Noel Murphy and Dr. Ann Kelleher at Intel, Dennis Doyle, also UCC engineering graduate at Analog Devices, UCD graduates Liam Madden and Keir Connell at Xilinx and Decwave, and finally Liam, Mad Liam Quinn at Dell, who has degrees from both University of Limerick and the Technical University of Dublin. At Midas Ireland, we are proud to represent the electronics sector in Ireland, which features 8,000 deep technology, highly skilled professionals. It has a combined export revenue in excess of 9 billion euro, and typically commits over 15% of its revenue in pursuit of new technologies by performing leading edge research and development. Opportunities for talented engineers and scientists continue to grow, with several hundred graduate and experienced positions being forecasted over the coming years across the sector, which includes multinational companies from Asia, the US and Europe, along with a rich vein of indigenous Irish companies and research institutes. And today we're delighted to announce the Midas Ireland third level project competition for 2020. It's open to full-time third level students in academic programs at level 9 or below. Students may submit a design and development project such as your final year project uh, as that you've undertaken as part of your studies. This is done via brief entry form and submitting a poster. A short list of entries will be invited to present their projects for adjudication at one of our Midas Ireland meetings to be held at IT Carlo on October 15th. The prize fund of over €1,000 will be awarded uh, for first prize at this, at this event and the winner will be invited to present at the Midas Ireland Conference, a major event to be held at Dunboyne Castle in County Meath on November 19th. The closing date for entry is the 29th of May 2020 and all details are available at MidasIreland.ie website. We look forward to seeing your entry and we also add, take this opportunity to wish you the very best for your career in this exciting world of electronics. Thank you.